And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug, more specifically about a couple orders that I was waiting to come in. So the first thing I would like to talk about is the Orbit. This is my first Orbit. This is in Riverwalk Black. As you can see, I have mine stuffed to the gills. Um, not only do I have all my everyday carry items in here, but I have a few other things to demonstrate capacity. Let's get started with the features of the bag. First things first, in the bottom here, it not only has the feet, but it does have the wipeable plastic surface as well. I love that, as you all know. On each side has two cargo pockets with it, the magnetic closure, which can very easily fit an 18 and a half ounce chuggy. Now, because this is a backpack and it doesn't have any D-rings, I actually affixed my little s'mores dude straight to the little cloth loop that's right outside your dedicated cell phone pocket. I will say when you have this packed full, it is a little bit hard to get in and out of this phone pocket, but it is doable. This phone is about as big as my iPhone XR with an attached pop socket, fits in there, fully fleece line. Down to the bottom, you have beautiful quilting here. It has just the single zippered compartment. It does have a hood, so you can put in things that are slightly taller. In this pocket, all I have is a spare notebook. I threw in two pens, and I have the smaller of the two seesaw pouches in there. There are no pen slots, so you have to put in your pens, you know, basically wherever you want. On the back, you'll see it has very nice padded straps with the no slip grip underneath very very comfortable to wear the back of this is also padded so it's nice and comfy against the body then it has your trolley strap which can go right over the telescopic handles of your luggage it also has a little grab handle this is not padded it is just folded over fabric but it's fixed very nicely onto the main portion of the bag it does have a double zipper and it allows for the bag to open up quite nicely. When you have your chuggy in here, it does slightly interfere with opening the zipper, but you just move it or remove it. So first things first, it can absolutely hold a standard size spiral notebook. It can hold standard size pieces of paper, vanilla folder, and another regular folder. It can also hold a one inch three ring binder. Again, this is with all my everyday carries in here too, so this can hold quite a bit. It also can hold a notebook that is slightly larger than your standard spiral notebook. Additionally, if I wanted to say carry my Surface, for instance, this is my Microsoft Surface in case that can fit in there along with my full-size roller mouse and the cord and charger. Not only can I fit those items, but if I'm using this as a day trip bag, this is a packable puddle jumper backpack that can fit in there. And this is my insulated pouch that can fit in there and also zip up. If you're traveling and you're going to be using this as your carry on item, you can fit a pouch with some travel size accessories as well as your unmentionables. And I can also fit in a t-shirt and a pair of leggings. So again, lots and lots of room. Let's get onto the main interior of the bag. So also in this interior, I have my food journal. That is it for the main part. If you go to the front of the bag, you will see that there is a clear view pocket. Um, this is where I keep all my phone accoutrements. That's a cord. Oops. That was part of the charger and my AirPods case. Underneath that, there are two cargo pockets. In the one, I just have nail file, travel Lysol, and my comb. And in the other, I have my little flashlight and my Bagolini coin purse. Going to the other side of the bag, you have a nice privacy pocket. This is where I keep my husband's spare keys. And then underneath that is a large cargo pocket. Not only do I keep my day planner in here and my splits XL along with my two reusable totes, but it is half 
fleece lined. So if I wanted to add yet another bit of tech in here to carry with me for any reason, this is a Kindle and this can go right in there and be very protected. So that is it for the organizational features inside. I do like this bag and I'm very, very happy, especially because I got it on such a great deal. All right, so on to the next thing I purchased, the Chariot Trio. What you get is a large purse organizer. You get a small insulated pouch also with organizational features and you get a clear envelope. I love this. I love purse organizers and this is essentially a purse. It fits everything. As you can see, it has all my everyday carry items in here. The reason that I really, really wanted this is because of one bag in my collection, which is my Apollo tote. I love this bag. It is so functional, holds an ungodly amount of stuff, but sometimes it's too much and things flop around on the inside and get all kinds of jumbled up. So I wanted something that would help me be even more organized because yes, this does come with two very large cargo pockets. It comes with an entire clear view pocket across the bag, but otherwise it's just a huge empty space. I can just take this, pop it right in, and now I have all the organization I could want. So let me go over the features of this one. This is the largest of the three. It has these very nice grab handles, which are cloth folded over, affixed securely. On the back first, you have a slip pocket. This does have a magnetic closure, but because I have my two reusable totes in there, I couldn't close it all the way, but you can hear it now. Otherwise, you could put in receipts or things like that. Then on the front, it has a little pocket here. I don't know if you could see. This is where I keep my flashlight. It's almost like another pen slot, but I can actually put my little flashlight in there. Then it has a small cargo pocket next to it, which I have my husband's keys and one of the charging blocks for my phone. Then next to that, it has yet another small pocket, which I have my AirPods in, the other part of my charging block and my cord. And then it has another one of those little, almost pen slot types. I love that. Above those two small cargo pockets are two slip pockets. These are not lined. In these slip pockets, I have my comb, I have my nail file, and that's all I have in there. Then on the inside, you have a very spacious opening so I can stick in my day planner. I can stick in my Splits XL. I also could fit in with these two items, my food journal, and still have plenty of space. So that is what it looks like in there. Now it has a beautiful wipeable bottom. So if anything spills inside, you don't have to worry about it seeping through, at least from the bottom. On here, it has six stacked pockets. The top two, which are the deepest, are partially fleece lined and slightly padded. I just have my smaller of the seesaw pouches in that big one. Beneath it, I have my notebook. On the other side, I don't have anything in the larger of the pockets, but then I have my travel Lysol and my Bagolini coin pouch. And then when you flip it over to the other side, you have two pen slots a privacy zippered compartment, which I have nothing in, and then two, I, I kept the card in, two card slots. So this bag is amazing. It is a purse within a purse. Extremely functional, extremely useful. Not only will I be putting this in my Apollo tote, but I have a couple other older generation lug bags that absolutely can benefit from this as well. The next one's insulated. Now, the one thing I will say, and I have not used this in the real world yet, so I cannot attest to how well it keeps your food cold. I don't like the fact that it does not zipper entirely. It only zippers from there to there. You have two holes, which I think is a little unusual if you're going to have the inside be insulated. This one also has organizational features. So it has a nice back slip pocket with the magnetic closure. It has two slip pockets on the front here, two more smaller cargo pockets here, and one of those interesting little pen uh, type slots. You can put in napkins, cutlery, uh, what have you, maybe a little disposable uh, placemat. 
Also has your little top grab handles. Again, not padded, but with folded over fabric. And then on the inside, it is fully insulated. So as you can see, I have a protein shake. I have a what I call an adult Lunchable and a yogurt, which fit very nicely in there. So that is that. And then lastly, the Clearview envelope. I do like this. I love Clearviews. Um, I was a little skeptical when they first came out, but I really do see the value in them. It is really nice just to like peek in and see what you have. One is actually taller, if you will, than the larger of the two seesaw pouches. However, it is shorter. So shorter width-wise, taller height-wise, um, but still very, very nice holds whatever you want it to hold very very functional the last thing that i want to talk about is the delta i actually purchased two of these this is crimson large dot now i will say this is not my favorite pattern but it is a very happy pattern very disney inspired so not only did i get one for myself but i got one for my mother-in-law as well who was a huge huge disney fan um this is a great little uh, laptop Holder. Um, I think you could fit uh, easily a 15 inch laptop in here, which is what my mother in law has. And I'll show you what I'm able to fit in here too. So, first things first, it is a crossbody laptop bag. So, you have your D rings and then you have the coveted one and a half inch strap, which is really, really cute. If you go to the back of the bag, you do have a built-in mouse pad. Now, I personally will not be using this because as you saw, I have a wireless rollerball mouse, so I don't need this, but very, very useful for people who use the traditional mouse. It also has a side handle. Um, a little bit awkward on the placement. I wonder why they decided to go with the side as opposed to the top. But then again, it does have two compartments, so it would be a little hard to put um, a handle up here. So maybe that was the reasoning behind the design feature. Um, as you can see, they do have little gusseted areas here. Very convenient, just grab and go. I will get open the front pocket first, show you the organizational features that are inside, and then I'll get to the second pocket. Nice double zippers on both pockets. The beauty about this is it can fold right down so you can see everything that you have at a glance. I'm able to fit standard manila folder, regular folder, standard size spiral notebook. You can bulk this out very easily, so you do need to be mindful of what you put in there. You cannot fit your one inch binder in here. It just doesn't close up over the top. You can fit the larger spiral notebook in here, but it takes a little bit of finagling to get the zippers over the top of it, but you can do it. Um, I'm assuming it's because of what I have in the cargo pockets that bulk it out a little bit that make the proportions a little bit off. So in the cargo pockets, there are two of them along with your two pen slots and my very cute little crimson large dot pen. Thank you, love. Um, I have the pouch that has my cord and charging block for my surface and I also have that large rollerball mouse so that is very convenient that I'm able to hold both of those items in there with no problem and have them very easily accessible to me on the side where your laptop will be it is incredibly padded so very secure completely fleece lined which is also great now the funny thing is I actually have my surface in its case in a case very redundant i know but if i wanted to just take it out and this is with the attached keyboard it can fit in here no problem at all and then i can take its little pen and just stick that right in the pen slot in the front if i were so inclined i could even fit my kindle in here with it and it would still have plenty of room so that is it. That is all for my little lug haul. Thank you so much as always for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope you found the information helpful and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.